Philly Sound. And sometimes that's all it takes to win. Sometimes it ain't going to be so flashy. Sometimes, you know, and that's that's the debate here. Can a solid fighter like Spence, who when you talk about him, there's not a lot to be said. But when you when you stack these attributes, they only reach so high. As you continue to talk about Crawford, it seems like he has more. Yo, what's good? Trouble T. Roy. We hit, don't get hit, boxing talks. We are back with another one. Keith Thurman has spoken, y'all. Everybody give him a hand. Give him a round of applause. Give him a round of applause. He deserves it. He's finally, he's finally, he's seen the light. And finally, he's seen the light. Look, he's basically shooting for Terrence Crawford to win this fight against Earl Spence, the WBA, WBO, IBF. <laughs> well, to wait, I'm trying to do that uh, shit, you know, who be doing, you know, how they, he breaks down all the uh, stats. He's 5'5'10. Five, five, uh, 147 cut. Man, fuck all that. Anyways, uh, yeah, man, he's finally came out and said what he's how he feels about this uh, Earl Spence Jr. versus Terrence Crawford fight. Um, and he is definitely leaning towards Terrence Crawford. He says that uh, Terrence Crawford has basically the tools as you know. This is not a fight. This is not my fight prediction, by the way. This is uh, Thurman's fight prediction, and you can go see his fight prediction and what he has to say on uh, Fight Hype. So just look up Fight Hype, look up uh, Keith Thurman, and the things that he has to say. He basically is saying, "Look, Earl Spence is good. Says he's a really good fighter. He's a." Uh, Olympian, you know, he's a, a world champion, a unified world champion at 147 pounds. Uh, he's a he's a really good fighter, but he also comes and says basically, there's not much you can really say after that about Errol Spence Jr. You know, and then he moves on. He says. On the other hand, you have somebody like uh, Terrence Crawford, who is a switch hitter. And he says Terrence Crawford has the tools. So this is Keith Thurman. Keith, once upon a time, Thurman. Keith, one time, Thurman. Saying this after years and years of being disrespectful to Terrence Crawford. Being disrespectful to that man. When that man, Terrence Crawford, first came up to 147, he didn't give that man no respect. At 147, Terrence Bud Crawford's competition, zero respect, has not been impressive. I, I, I have love and respect for him, but I don't respect what he's accomplished at 147. Not yet. At the same time, he didn't give Earl Spence no respect. And it makes me wonder, it makes me wonder, Keith Thurman is in a place at this point where it's almost like he's desperate. He was actually set to go ahead and fight uh, Earl Spence back uh, maybe earlier this year. He, uh, well, it wasn't set, but it was in the talks, but uh, your boy Al Heyman, he didn't want that, apparently, you know. Well, no, no, it wasn't Al Heyman, my bad. No, Earl Spence, it sounded like he didn't want that. Al Heyman wanted that fight. You know? Um, but, I mean, for whatever reason, Earl said no to it. I think it would have been a good tune-up coming into, I mean, at 147. I don't know about what this whole 154 bullshit was. Because, it's like, so you're going to go up to 154 to fight Keith Thurman when you guys are both 
still campaigning at 147. So what is the the whole the whole situation like? What's the purpose of the, that fight? It didn't make sense, but it didn't happen anyways. I thought the fight should have happened at 147 with the belts on the line, but it never did. Considering uh, Keith Thurman is a former WBA, WBC uh, world champion at 147, I figured maybe they was trying to push him back to give him a chance to be a world champion again by having Earl Spence defend those three belts, the IBF, the WBA, and WBC belts against Keith Thurman at 147. But for some reason, they was talking about 154. Made no sense. Why well, I pushed him up to 154 just to bring him back down to fight for Undisputed, which I didn't, it didn't even, we wasn't even sure if it was happening at that moment anyways, but it is what it is. But in other words, beyond this point, uh, Keith Thurman's been pretty desperate over the last maybe two, three years since he's been, uh, what is it, has it been at least a couple years since he fought Barrios? A year and a half or two? I can't remember when they fought. I really... That's how that's how much I didn't care about that fight because I can't remember when it happened. But yeah, he went 12 rounds with Mario Barrios, who was coming up after a loss to Tank Davis at 140 pounds. He came up to 147 pounds to fight uh, Keith Thurman, which I believe was possibly a, I don't know if it was a WBA eliminator, possibly. I can't remember. It was a weird. The whole situation was weird. Nothing makes. Nothing's been making sense with what the PBC has been doing, so it is what it is. But again, Keith Thurman, after that fight, he's basically been begging for a fight with uh, Earl Spence or Terrence Crawford. And I believe, me personally, I believe that that man needs the money. I think he's trying to cash himself out, win or lose. I don't think he believes he could beat either Earl or Terrence his whole energy has changed since he lost to uh, Pacquiao. You know? And I think he's just looking for the money. I don't really think he even cares about the, uh, the legacy anymore. I think he's already had his you know, his run. Which, it was a decent run. I think he could have done a lot better if he would have stayed, stayed more active. And as well as stayed healthy and haven't been injured, you know, but he's been going through all these things like that. And as a fighter who had to go into the ring with a 140 pounder and went 12 rounds with him. Yeah. Everybody says, oh yeah, you know, he, you know, he left Barrio Barrios, you know, his face, look at his face after the fight. Look at his face after we fought Thurman. It's like, that's cool, but Tank Davis came up from 135 up to 140 and knocked him out. Although they're going to say, oh, well, Mario Barrios, you know, he had a, 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 a rehydration clause. It's like, okay, that's cool, I guess. We could do that. We could do that. That's fine. That's fine. And once again, that just shows the, the weird shit that the PBC does, you know? And Mario Barros, he didn't have to agree to that, but apparently he did, and then he got what he got. But either way, you're a hundred, you're a natural 147 pounder. You could be a 154 pounder because you was literally about to fight Spence at 154, and you let a guy come up from 140 up to 147 and went 12 rounds with him. So that just kind of says something right there. But anyways, you know. So back to the whole, the main subject. Keith Thurman says that Terrence Crawford just has more tools, basically. He's a switch hitter. You know, he could pivot. You know, all the different things. I mean, I'm not sure if he even said that. I kind of just glanced. I heard more about the interview than I actually watched the actual interview because I really don't like watching Keith Thurman. But from what I understand, he's on the side of Terrence Crawford winning the fight. And it's funny. The main thing is that just four years ago, he did a video where he literally said, I don't respect him at 147. Basically, that's what he said. He said he didn't respect Terrence Crawford 
his work at 147. This was four years ago. This is when uh, Terrence Crawford was just coming up, basically. This was, well, he had been doing this for about two to three years where Terrence was basically calling him out, calling Errol Spence out. And basically, neither one of them was trying to give him any uh, kind of uh, energy, you know what I'm saying? And Thurman was the one really saying, like, I don't respect you at 147. You're not a real 147 pounder. You have to prove yourself as a welterweight a real welterweight now push it five four five six years six five four years later now all of a sudden thurman is like yeah he's that guy he's gonna beat earl spence he's basically saying like earl uh uh terrence crawford he's about to be the the two-time undisputed champion so it's like that's crazy how and it makes me wonder though, is he, is he saying this because remember him and Earl Spence had their own little beef and it's almost like the tables have turned now that Earl Spence is the unified champion and Earl Spence is not giving Keith Thurman that, that time, that energy, that attention. Now it's almost like, is Thurman saying this out of spite or is Thurman saying this because he believes it? Because Thurman, he be all over the place. Keith Thurman be all over the place. So, it kind of makes me wonder. Is he being, you know, is is he really being truthful? Is he saying this because he really feels it? Like, is this a genuine feeling that he has? Or is this because Earl Spence is not giving him the time of the day? <laughs> You know, that's what it makes me wonder. That's the only thing I really wanted to talk about right now. And uh, I want to see what y'all think. So, uh, yeah, basically, yeah. Really hit me up in the comments. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, and all that good shit. All right, this is Trouble T. Roy. Hit, don't get hit, box and talk. Peace.